So you want to learn how to accept payments on your website? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly how you can go about doing that. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera and we're gonna jump right into today's content all right so as you can see um, i'm here on stripe.com so i'm going to be using stripe to actually do this and i'm going to be showing you how you can actually set up a payment gateway on your actual website all right all right so the the, the platform i'm actually going to be using to do this um, besides using stripe is i'm actually going to be using uh, a, a platform called now site all right so let's actually jump right into it so with stripe when you try to put a when you try to do like a payment gateway on your website typically what stripe allows you to do is they allow you to create an invoice and the way that you actually have to do it is you actually have to create a customer and then create an invoice and then they allow you to send it through email right now that's not going to be beneficial if you actually want it on your website right so let's get into how to, how you can actually make that happen so first thing you want to do is you want to go over to a website called buy now plus dot com all right all right so what i want to do is i'm going to back out real quick and then i'm going to come back in so this is how it actually looks when you come to the website right all right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and hit login, and then on the right side of the screen, you're gonna actually see something that says connect to Stripe. So you see right here it says create account, connect to Stripe. So I'm assuming that you already have a Stripe account, um, and you're trying to actually set this up, and if you don't, go ahead and create your Stripe account, come back to this, and then watch it again, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and click on connect to Stripe, now at this point you see up here it says already have a stripe account you will hit sign in all right so i'm gonna go ahead and hit back and i'm gonna sign in but if you haven't went through this process then right here it says activate your account all right and then you will fill in this data right here all right now let's actually go ahead and sign in since i actually already have an account all right so boom well no no, no let me not actually go through that process i'm gonna go through the regular sign in process all right, so it should take me back. All right, so boom. So I hit login. So as you can see, I already have a have buttons, right? I use this pretty consistently. Um, and all of the payments that come through these, they actually come through uh, my Stripe account, all right? So how do you go about using this? So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a button, right? So you create a button, right? So we're just going to put, um, this is just going to be test button, all right? So test button. Uh, course that's what it'll be all right and then what I usually do you could put like a full description or you could just put the exact same thing now what I like to do when people actually come to the page because you're gonna be able to see what the page looks like as well but when people come to the page I want them to know exactly what they're gonna be paying for this so what I would do let's say for instance this course was a hundred dollars I would literally go ahead and do one hundred dollars just like that and then I would just paste it in the description. Now, of course, like I said, you can put out a full description. So when they come here, they're clear on everything, right? They have complete clarity. And then over here, what you wanna do is you wanna put the price over here as well. So the price would be $100, and then if it's fixed or if it's variable, but in this case, we're gonna leave it on fixed. And then, you know, depending on the currency, you can see it has USD, Euro, GBP, CAD, or whatever, right? But we're going to go ahead and use USD. And then what you want to do is you want to turn test mode off, right? If you want this to be live so when people come to this, you don't want them to go through a test and then you have an error and then you, you potentially lose a customer, all right? All right, so we're going to make sure we go ahead and hit test mode off. And then you see it says Stripe account. All I got to do, have my Stripe account just like this, right? And then what we want to do is you can hit advanced options. And you can gather, you know, some additional information. So you see it says you can gather the name, billing address, and shipping address. That'll all be up to you, right? So let me just go ahead and just hit display on all of those just so you can see exactly what, what that'll look like. 
and then down here you see it says button text so what do you want the button to say do you want it to say apply now or do you want it to say buy now so I'm just gonna put apply now since I you know pretty much just kinda of spit that out alright and then you can do a return URL and also a cancel URL that'll be up to you now what I'm gonna do this is not a recurring thing but if it is recurring and you want it to continuously uh, take you could actually use this to do that but I'm just gonna hit create and literally we just created our test button course right so what do we actually do to have this accepted on our actual website so let me go over here to now site and I'm gonna go ahead and go to the websites over here on the left tab now once this pops up I'm just gonna use one of the uh, websites that I've already created alright so we're gonna use this website right here right so this is a landscaping uh, website that I ended up building right we got the logo over here got the home button and then as we scroll down boom right we got the website so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna actually turn the button into um, that that link I'm gonna be using the link right over there from uh, from buy now so let's go back over to buy now and then you see right here where we got like the share button we're gonna click on the share button and then we're gonna copy this link right here you can even uh, let me go back to it so you can actually even just you know highlight it like that hit copy or you can just hit this button right here that'll be up to you or you could actually use the website embed code so like let's say for example I wanted to go over to this website right let's let's go into the editor and then I just go like this I paste this in there right let's just paste this in here and then we're gonna paste the code and then I hit OK now what just happened right you see how it has to apply now button right there boom that simple right so if I hit save let's just let me show you exactly what that looks like all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit preview and then you're gonna see the button so there's the buy button right there so when I click it watch what happens boom it takes them right over to our new test button course for a hundred bucks literally that simple so you literally were able to add it either with the website embed embed code or if you actually just wanted to make it a button right so not a button that's like embedded but just like you know you you put a button like from now site for example right so if I were to let's say let's find the button thing over here alright so let's say for instance I wanted to drag this button over there and then I just put like you know apply now boom I can literally just go ahead uh, and put in the button URL just paste it just like that so there it is I go ahead and hit OK and then I go ahead and save it real quick and boom there's the apply now button so let's go back over to let's actually go back and refresh this we may not we may not necessarily okay so there it is boom so there's the apply now button so literally two ways for you to actually set this up on your website so if I hit apply now boom there's our test button course for a hundred dollars literally that simple so hopefully you got some value from this video and if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up also drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable and with that being said I look forward to seeing you in the next video peace